Shepherd. Remember when you were a puppy? One puppy, two puppy on a puppy bed. The littlest one has fur that's I'm red. kind of new, so I'll stick with you. I like new places, seeing lots of new faces. And before this day's through, we'll make good friends like you. for such a small dog. Wake up, Daffodil. I brought you a nice, juicy carrot. <sighs> okay, Sleepy Rabbit. I've got to get ready for school. Good morning there, Little Red. <laughs> Hiya, Norval. Is this a lovely day or what? The sun is shining, the birds are singing. I wish I could sing like a bird. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> but you are a bird, Norval. Yeah, but I'm not a songbird. What's the difference? If you like to sing and it makes you feel good. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, do you really think so, dear pup? Oh, well, sure I do. Who cares if you're not a songbird? If you like to sing, you should sing. Okay then, here I go. But you know, but you know, I don't know that many songs. Phew. Hmm. Hey, I have a big idea. You can make them up. Hey, you know you're right there, you little redness. All right then. <clears throat> here goes. I'll sing in the morning. I'll sing in the night. I'll sing from the treetops with all of my might. So what do you think there, pup? Wow. You can really sing loud, Norval. Thanks. And I was just warming up. Oh, there's a lot more where that came from. On top of the rooftop, all covered with plants, I'll sing from the bird bath, and I'll sing to the ants. Hi, ants. Well, I guess I'm awake now. <laughs> Can you do this? I'll give it a try. Can you do this? I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> Me too! <laughs> that was fun. Careful now. Easy does it. We're halfway there. La 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 la. La 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 la. la. What was that? I don't know. But it sure is loud. It's normal. La, 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 what? La, it's la, la, Norval la, la. singing. La, 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 la. Wow, I can't believe that's Norval. La, la, well, la, la, I kind of told him that if he likes to I sing, then he should sing. He sure is loud. I know. I it's even you. louder downstairs. La, 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 we came up here hoping that it would be quiet la, 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 and I could la, la, eat my la, breakfast in peace. I just ate a worm. Oh, what a delight. My tummy is full now. I can't eat a bite. <sighs> Time.
time for a siesta. To fly! To fly way up! Huh? I feel like What's an that? aeroplane way up in the sky! Hello to you, or hey, I'm singing my best. Hey, what are you doing? I am trying to rest. You know, oh, you know what I'll do? I'm gonna sing you a lullaby. So close your eyes, or hey, and fall fast asleep. I'll send you to dreamland while you count some sheep. La 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 la. La, 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 la. I sing about singing. I sing just because. I sing about ketchup and Clifford's red paws. La, la, He's been singing la, la, like that la, all day la, la, long. La, 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 la. I couldn't take my siesta. He was too loud. Right. Somebody has to say something to him about singing all the time. Well, I don't know, guys. We wouldn't want to hurt Norval's feelings or anything. And this goes out to my favorite little red puppy. This one's for Clifford. He told me to sing. I only know one tune, but it has a nice ring. I say we all talk to Norval. Okay, sure. Anything for a little peace and quiet. Really, guys, I don't think that's such a good idea. It might make Norval sad. But all his singing is making us sad. And Clifford, we have to be honest with him. Yeah, if we tell him the truth in a nice way, I'm sure he'll understand. Right! I mean, it's not like we're telling him he can't sing ever. Just not all the time. Well, maybe I should just talk to Norval myself. That way it'll be just the two of us. Yeah! Right! Hello from the seesaw! Hello, all my friends! I'll sing you a new song, a song without end. Uh, we gotta go. Bye. Uh, me too. Uh, what's with them? Uh, well, um, I don't know. Well, you know, maybe they were worried uh, that it was going to rain. But not me, because I'll uh, sing Clifford, in the rain. I think maybe now I'll is a good time pours, for you to talk with Norville. And then when the rain stops, we'll all make some more. Norville! Hey, what's up, pup? Um, maybe, well, maybe you should give your voice a rest. You don't want to wear it out. Sure, sure. I could do that. Oh, <laughs> good. But I feel like singing. Like sometimes, uh, uh, sometimes. Um, well, it's just that I know singing makes you really happy, and and that's great. And oh uh, well, you practice all the time to make sure you get the songs right. Oh, oh yeah. I I, I think I understand what you're saying. You do? Sure. Sure. If I want a song to be really right, I've got to practice more. Huh. Yeah, right. Practice. But... Hey, thanks, Little Red. Oh, that is great advice. A five, six, seven, eight. Practice makes perfect. So that's what I'll do. Oh, many thanks, Little Clifford. My red friend who's true blue. Yeah, you're welcome, Norval. Is everyone all tucked in and ready for a good night's sleep? <sighs> what about you, Clifford? Oh. Good night, Clifford. Good night, Daffodil. Back, 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 back,
little bird. He just wants to sing, but now really isn't the time. Hey, they don't like me. I mean, they really, really don't like me. Hey, there he is. Um, Norval, uh, about last night. I know. I know my singing's a problem. But why didn't you guys just tell me in the first place? Well, I wanted to tell you, but I was worried your feelings would get hurt. But uh, I guess they got hurt anyway. Well, I really appreciate that, pup. But I could have handled the truth, you know. I mean, I I'd rather you just be honest with me from now on. Is that okay? Okay, I will. That's a promise. And it's not like we don't want you to ever sing again. It's not? It's not? No, uh Just not when it's gonna disturb anyone else. Like not during a game of follow the leader? And not during a siesta. And not during breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Oh, I guess I really did disturb everybody. I mean, you know, I, I really should have thought about it. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know, maybe I should just give it up after all. No, Narvel. There must be some time that you could sing. You think? I sing at the right time, and not all day long. To make my friends happy, I'm playing a bong. Clifford, where are you, boy? Want to read a story, Clifford? Okay, pick one out. <laughs> Thanks, Clifford. This looks like a great story. Today's story is Speckle and the Terrific Tour. One morning, Reba was showing the gang a great book that had pictures of exotic places all over the world. The gang wished they could visit such exciting places. Then Speckles said they could. All they needed was a little bit of help from their imaginations. Speckle pretended he was their conductor and collected everyone's tickets. And once they were seated on the travel train, the tour began. At their first stop, Darnell pointed out a beautiful house in the sky. Ravi and Luna were amazed by the wild sea creature they passed. And Reba loved exploring the untamed jungle and discovering its lovely surprises. When the trip was over, there was only one thing left to do, and that was to thank the conductor for taking them on such a terrific tour. The end. I love reading stories together. You know, Clifford, for such a small dog, you sure are a big reader. Tell me a tale. Snow, snow, go away, come again some other day. <sighs> I don't think it's listening to you, Nina. Oh, oh, oh. Look at all that snow! Isn't it great? Great? It's not great, it's terrible! I just got a brand new snow saucer last night, Shun, and I really, really, really wanted to play with it at the park today. But you can't sled in a blizzard. My mom won't even let me go outside until it stops. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Nina, but I still love a good blizzard. Why? My grandmother always tells me the most wonderful stories from Japan on days like this. I bet the girls would love to hear one of those stories, Shun. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks, Mom. Oh, yeah. How about you, Nina? Would you like me to tell a story? Sure, if you want to. Maybe it'll stop snowing by the time you're done. I know a story everyone will like. You know why? Why? Because I'll change it so that we all have parts in it. Even you guys. Many winters ago, in a village near the river Yodo, there lived an elderly couple. Every day, 
The man went to work in the fields, and the woman stayed home alone. She was lonely, but she kept busy doing origami, the ancient art of folding paper into intricate shapes. She made birds and frogs and fish. But mostly she made dogs, because that's what she wished for more than anything, a real dog. Roof, roof. One day, the woman was washing her clothes at the River Yodo when she saw something on the water. What's this? A tiny red puppy. Just what I always wanted. <laughs> I will love him and take care of him and protect him from the terrible Oni. Oni? What's that? Onis are mean, grumpy giants that lived in ancient Japan. If you can defeat an Oni, you're a real hero. What happens next, Shun? Well, the woman raised the little puppy with great care and love. But no matter how much she fed him, he never grew an inch. The woman called the little dog Isunboshi. Well, that means tiny and small in Japanese. The woman didn't care that Isunboshi's size was small. She knew that his heart was big. The woman loved him very much and found many ways to make the tiny dog's life more comfortable. She gave him a delicate teacup for his food dish. She made him a warm bed from her soft silk slipper. Every night, Isunboshi flew up to the roof of the house to look out at the grand city of Kyoto. He looked forward to the day when he was old enough to go out and explore the big city. Then one day, the woman had a surprise for him. Isunboshi, you have brought me such happiness, but it is time for you to go out and explore the big city. I give you this rice bowl to keep the snow off your head. This bag of dorayaki cakes so your stomach will never be empty and these origami papers to remind you that you are always loved. Goodbye, Isunboshi. Good luck. for saving us. Who are you? My name's Isun Boshi, and I'm on my way to the big city of Kyoto. That's where we're from. We can show you the way. <laughs> Hop in. To, to Kyoto. Kyoto! Hooray! When Isun Boshi finally arrived in Kyoto, he took his new friends to their home and said goodbye, then found himself at the doorstep of an empress. An empress? That's right, an empress. Nina, why don't you come over here and listen to the story? Um, no thanks. I can hear from here, and I want to know first thing if it stops snowing. Anyway, this empress was really smart and really pretty. In fact, she was a lot like you, Nina. Hello, is someone out there? A 
tiny red dog. Oh, let me see. Oh, he's wonderful. Please, can we keep him? I'm sorry, Princess, but we already have a wonderful dog. We don't need another one. The Empress, a bit cranky because the snowstorm was making her stay inside all day, almost didn't let Isun Boshi into the palace. Oh. But he looks so smart and so brave. Maybe he can help protect us from the Oni. <laughs> <laughs> now what could such a small dog do against a giant? But size has nothing to do with bravery. Oh, please. <laughs> Oh, all right. But he's your responsibility, Princess. Hooray! And take care of him, she did. The Princess and Isun Boshi did everything together. Everything was going along just great. The Empress was even beginning to admit that she liked Isun Boshi very much. Oh, <laughs> thank you, little one. Isn't he wonderful, Empress? <laughs> the Oni is coming! Hurry! We've got to hide! It's too late! He's seen us! He's going to catch us! Oh, no! Shun, are you telling me that the Oni is going to catch them? I said he wants to catch them. I didn't say he was going to catch them. So what happens next? Oh, look, Nina. It stopped snowing. Want to go sledding now? Now? We can't go now. We have to find out what happens to the Empress. Well, the Oni ran down the road, headed right for the Empress and the Princess. <laughs> and sizes. It sounds like everyone really enjoyed Shun's story. Uh-huh. Sure did. The snow has stopped. Would you all like to go to the park now? Sure. Nina can try out her new snow saucer. Sounds great. When we come back, I'm going to tell you my favorite story from Mexico, the legend of the poinsettia. I know some great stories, too. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Tommy yummies. Oh, I wonder who they belong to. Hmm. Maybe I could just take one little bite. <laughs> of tummy yummies to share. Has anybody seen them? Sometimes telling the truth isn't easy, but Clifford and his friends know that it's always the right thing to do. Oh, actually, Clifford, 
I ate them. I'm sorry. When you tell the truth, it makes you and your friends feel better. Well, I was looking forward to sharing them with everyone, but I'm really glad you told me the truth. You know, me too, buddy. That's why Clifford's idea to grow on for today is be truthful. Next time I get tummy yummies, I'll make sure to share them with you. That would be great, Jorge.